all right hello you guys good morning i actually went to the bank and i got my money to deposit into my 1k savings challenge and there are some other things i wanted to discuss as well so let's go ahead <clears throat> we have 50 100 mm -mm. one moment <laughs> 50 100 50 200 Two, four, five, six, sixty-five, seventy, two, seventy. So once again, I wanted to do seventy-five. Wait, hold on. What I wanted to do, I forgot. I think it's seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five and sixty, sixty. So let's get these things together here. Make it larger. Okay, so we got 70, oh, that's 6, yep, 70, this is 60, 60, yeah, 60, 60, and that's 75, 75, so let's just open this up, <clears throat> and I can understand why, you know, savings challenges are fun, it is quite fun to be saving, you know, this way, you know, I usually just save in just one savings account. Um, well, I have multiple savings accounts, but I don't have, like, I don't do, um, like, what you call it? Uh, not savings challenge, sinking funds, because that just messes with my mind. <laughs> if I feel like I can't put money into a certain thing. Uh, this one's a 75, so we'll get this one. But savings challenges, yeah, I can see that it is fun. And I think I'm feeling this way because I feel like how I'm doing things, that one paycheck per month seems so boring to me. In a good way, but it is boring, you guys. Um, and then we have another 60 that we're fulfilling. Let's see, make sure we get the 60. All right, so this is quite fun. And then we got a 75. Now, I haven't calculated how much is in here. Once everything is completed, then we know it's a thousand, right? So that's all that matters to me. And then this is the last 75. And what I basically did with this, you guys, is took care of. The major big uh, the bigger ones first and then we'll trick it down to like the smaller ones <clears throat> so yeah there we go now one thing i wanted to mention so this is um this basically these two things basically covers marches and aprils um challenge well like allotment that I wanted to put in there remember the month of March my paycheck was low remember I'm using one paycheck per month and that's the first paycheck of the month and the first paycheck or the last paycheck of of February because February is a shorter month I had less hours in there because I do get paid semi-monthly the 15th and the last day of the month so that paycheck was smaller so what I decided to do once again was to just incorporate um, because this paycheck was bigger, this most recent paycheck was bigger, I was like, let me fulfill March's challenge, roll that into April, so that's why we filled four envelopes, okay? What else did I want to mention? So, I did get this, I did get the funds already as well, so this is what I can use to buy my new tablet, um, so just really quick, if you guys are interested, there is a code on the back. Um, so all I had to do was open a Chase total checking account and set up direct deposit within 90 days. I did do that. And like five days later, I checked my account and the 225 was in there. Now I do want to mention this. Okay. The thing is <laughs> that, um, if you guys get this in the mail, because as I mentioned, you do have to have a coupon code. This was my coupon code. So I don't think you guys can use the same one that this checking account does have a monthly maintenance fee. No, your girl is not going to be paying that. Okay. 
you have to make at least a deposit of to have direct deposit of at least 500 or keep a minimum balance in here this is a checking account that does not earn any interest so i'm not keeping like a lot of money in here but what i am going to do with my primary job is deposit or do a direct deposit each check of five hundred dollars so that automatically makes sure i'm not being charged a twelve dollar monthly maintenance fee but yeah and this will get this is going to be taxable so this i will get like a interest earned but you know what i'm like interest earned i will take it you know because interest on my other accounts are what like at my savings accounts high yield savings accounts are like at 3.6% annual percentage yield right now. 225 is not going to hurt me come tax season. But yeah, just let you know if this is something that you're interested in. Um, I think I will have a link or a code. I don't know if it's going to be as good as this one though, you guys. Because as I mentioned, this is the coupon code that I use. I don't think anybody can keep using the same one. I think it's specific. Um, so yeah, there we go. One other thing I wanted to revisit was this. I have to get cash for these things. So I have to figure out what's in here. So let me turn this around. Give me a moment. Because I do want to get the actual cash eventually, right? Um, Sorry, you know, my table is kind of small. My dining table. <laughs> dining table. Okay. Y'all know I keep it simple around here. Okay. So what we have, so we do have $2 worth of pennies. These are closed. So that means these are fully funded. So that's $4. We got um, $10. $10. That's closed. So that's $24. And these ones are still open, so that means these still need to be funded. And we have, so that's 24. This one is closed, so this one's fully funded. So 24. What is that? 24. What? Girl, it's not 24. My bad. So these are 50, so that's 52, right? 52. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, it's early, but I'm not good with math on the top of my head anyways, y'all. So we got 20, 10, 20, 21, 22, now 24, so we have 20 nine dollars so eventually i will get the cash for that um because you know we could probably fill up one for like thirty dollars um in my 1k savings challenge so i could put that in there um but yeah y'all seeing that i do not use like cash for anything this one still needs a dollar to fill this up to get to the full ten dollars this one still needs two dollars worth of dimes and this one still needs 50 cents worth of nickels. I put on there the numbers so I know exactly how much I still need to put into them. But yeah, we got, what, $29 right here. Right, 29, yep, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yep, $29. So I still have this sitting around. Um, Once I meet the 1K savings challenge, um, I may keep it you know, out of the bank, but you know, that's a thousand dollars that can be earning interest, right? Now you may say, Candace, why did you open up another checking account? One, it's free money. Obviously it will be taxable interest, right? So I will get a INT for it, but it's still free money at the end of the day, you know? Um, plus I wanted a separate account, even just like for my own money um itself so yeah there we go like for my own allowance money and i just wanted a second physical bank that i can use and that's like nationwide my other bank that my other physical bank is just within like virginia uh virginia north carolina and some parts of like maryland and that's it you know 
So yeah, that's why I wanted another like bigger bank. So when I seen this one, I mind you, I used to get these things a lot and I never hopped on them. But this time I was like, okay, Chase is a big company. My other physical bank is only like um, those three areas and they don't have a lot of presence in you know a lot of places so yeah you know to be able to walk in and you know get the exact denominations that you want for like filling up cash envelopes or anything like that I think is beneficial you know I have capital one I have discover savings those are my online savings accounts and those are like some of my other like major checking accounts but they don't have any physical branches in my area i don't think this discover has any physical branches and capital one i don't think they have any physical branches either but they do have options uh from what i've learned from tara gay nicole um or i forgot her other channel now <laughs> that you know you can make and withdraw money at cvs i've never tried that before but at the end of the day it doesn't hurt to gain some extra money and have an actual physical bank with actual bank representatives so there we go but yeah i gotta get this all taken care of so i can get like the 29 um 29 dollars out and i can just put you know the other like whatever amount and back in here until i save up another increment but yeah, there we go. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It is rainy and gloomy here. So yeah, and I did take VTO. I'm on my new medication, y'all. And let me tell you, I didn't almost eat for two days straight. Uh, I was just feeling nauseous. Um, yeah, I was, I was sick. <laughs> um, but, you know, I feel better now, uh, one day at a time. And I was already eating better anyways, uh, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, yes, I do need a vacation. All right, bye.